Now that Tiffany Henyard has been investigated by the FBI for her alleged schemes while being the mayor of Dalton, things have just gone from bad to worse for her. Many are wondering what is actually happening to Tiffany Henyard. Will she be locked up for good or continue to get away with her past actions? Be sure to stick around till the end of the video for the full details. You may have assumed that being mayor was her exclusive responsibility, but you would be mistaken. This lady is also quite successful in her side project, and when you hear how much money she's making, you'll start to understand what's really going on here. Not only is Tiffany Henyard the mayor of Dalton, but she also serves as the supervisor of Thornton Township. Yes, that's correct. Two major responsibilities for one driven woman, but the best part is that her dual role is creating more drama than the conclusion of a season of your preferred reality TV show. What makes these two positions as Dalton's mayor so important? Tiffany is all about maintaining aesthetics. She is concentrated on the routine maintenance tasks that keep a town running smoothly, such as patching pavements and seeing to it that rubbish is removed, but that is only one aspect of the situation. Put on your supervisor hat now, and all of a sudden Tiffany is concerned with the people she helps, acting like a superhero and offering assistance to those in need of help, paying their electricity bill. Struggling to pay for a funeral? Tiffany's got it. She's right there with her tiny checkbook, operating it almost like her own private charity using the town's funds like a piggy bank. We have $110,000 worth of credit card spending that isn't accounted for. We got it for months for the receipts. Again, there's no, we don't have any receipts. The problem everybody got is they cannot control me. So y'all with all the mess and lip boxing, chill with the child. Just watch me work. They want to spend our money and they want our vote and don't want to tell us what they're spending the money on. We need this money, we, we have to operate as a village. And if they continue to spend money that we don't have, it has to come from somewhere. We've been locked out of office, we've been locked out of systems. The problem is money's being spent and no one knows where or how it's being spent. She doesn't want anyone to know. And that's why there is an FBI probe investigating Tiffany Hayes. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell. This way, you'll never miss out on any future celebrity videos similar to these. For these two jobs combined, Tiffany is making over $200,000 a year, which is more than some people in Dalton make in five years. So it makes sense that some people are looking at her with raised eyebrows. Some people are making fun of Tiffany for being a super mayor, claiming that she has too much authority, too many responsibilities, and not enough time to execute them all well. Yet Tiffany isn't having it, so let's go back a little before Tiffany was elected mayor in 2021. Dalton was known for its wonderful community events. I'm talking about parades, festivals, and the whole nine yards. But these days, everything is surrounding Tiffany. And not everyone is enjoying Tiffany's newfound spotlight. Some people began to criticize her leadership style very early on, especially after she founded her own breast cancer foundation. That sounds good, doesn't it? That's correct, it would be if it weren't funded by taxpayer dollars. There is undoubtedly more to the story than Tiffany's notion of charity, which involves spending other people's money. Is there something wrong with that? After all, money is needed for charities to operate? Tiffany is out there performing double duty, and Dalton is having financial difficulties. We're talking about a deficit of more than 5 million. Which is not joke at all, that's a whole lot of zeros, and it evidently doesn't add up. What does Tiffany have to say about all of this? She is adamant that both of her jobs are legitimate and essential. So you have people that make comments. Uh, I know at one of our previous meetings that don't live here, they live in a whole nother city, but come to Dalton and say that they live in our town and they do not. Again, no one fact checks. People just sit there and say whatever it is, and that's not fair and that's not right or it's not accurate. So I just wish people would lead with truth and stop just with mess and chaos. Um, it's a shame that we cannot dance together make sure we lead with love and not hate. It's said that we see someone elevating and you guys do not want to see them grow. You want to have that crab in the barrels mentality and pull people down. It's a shame that the youth have to see that. We want to teach them that when they see someone elevate, congratulate, help them grow, help them up the ladder. Don't try to keep them down here where you are just because you don't have access to them no longer. But given all of the attention she is receiving, you have to ask if she is actually helping the public or if she is only looking out for herself. 
According to new reports, the small municipality of Dalton is 5 million in debt as a result of Henyard's infamous use of public monies for expenses such as personal styling, travel, and an extravagant pay. Last month, the town board approved a motion to request that Henyard be looked into by the FBI, U.S. Attorney, Cook County Sheriff, and Cook County State's Attorney. Although Henyard rejected the offer, FBI agents had previously spoken with other residents of the 20000 person town on the outstanding bills. You lied to us as residents. You do not. You do not stand for me. And I want you to step down as mayor today and save our village from this deficit you have caused, Dalton resident Vivian Allen told her on Monday. The mayor can blame everybody for what's going on, but she has to look at herself, added former trustee Edward Steve. She and other officials took excursions to Portland, Austin, Atlanta, and New York City, paying $13,000 for a stay in New York and flying first class on some of the flights, totaling more than $67,000 in public funds. What made things even more suspicious was when in a viral interview, she was asked about her alleged spending of taxpayers' money on expensive flights across the United States which she seemed to beat around the bush and totally ignore. I don't do anything as relates to with credit cards. As you heard me speak today in my board meeting about, I do not handle that. Some of those charges are for you, though. No, sir. You didn't go to Las Vegas? Mm. What, what is that? No comment. You don't know if you were in Las Vegas? Of course I do. Did you fly first class to Las Vegas? Any other questions? You're not going to answer how taxpayer dollars are being spent? That seems I just, odd. I just answered it. What do you mean? I just answered your question. You said you wouldn't answer about Las Vegas. You asked me a question and I responded. Before we go any further into the video, what are your guys' honest thoughts on this entire situation? Is it looking like Tiffany Henyard's past actions will finally catch her up and she'll get locked away for a long time? Or will she continue to get away with her alleged schemes? Comment down below. However, it turns out that the FBI has been suspicious of Tiffany as well. They haven't been playing around. Instead, they have been speaking with people one by one to try and determine whether Tiffany has been playing around with funds and fronting it as her own. They're not simply striking up a discussion. They have their ears glued to the ground, hearing all the gossip about your girl Tiffany. But Tiffany evidently wants all the smoke and she was prepared because isn't backing down, she is claiming that everything was just a big misunderstanding. She says that someone is trying to set her up, but the FBI doesn't show up for nothing, and the fans aren't just posing questions. They have gone high-tech, employing sophisticated electronic surveillance to monitor her spending. It sounds like a plot from a spy film, but this is real life, not a Hollywood production. The stigma online is extremely negative surrounding this ongoing controversy, where numerous posts have been left stating things like, how is she still in office? Why has she not been removed and indicted? This whole thing is in like season 9 episode 20, get rid of her. The FBI is investigating Tiffany's charitable work, political contributions, and even her own company. They are doing everything they can to determine whether Tiffany's financial activities go beyond what is initially apparent. Remember Tiffany's right-hand man Keith Freeman? Well, he's in hot trouble too. He faces bankruptcy fraud charges and is spitting the truth to investigators. Meanwhile, Tiffany is attempting to act calm, claiming that the reason she has so much protection is because individuals have been threatening her. Only time will tell what's going to come from this entire situation, but things are looking like a hot mess for Tiffany right now, and it looks like everything is about to crumble down in front of her very eyes. Anyway, this concludes today's video. Be sure to subscribe to LoafTube for future celebrity videos, and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Until then, see you in the next one.